Hello again fellow truck enthusiasts, this is Nathan Lowe with The Lowe Show. In today's video we're going to be swapping out this boring gold Chevy Silverado symbol with an OEM replacement black Chevy bow tie with blue LED illumination. Okay, what we'll be using today to install the bow tie emblem is first you need to remove the grill. In order to do so, you'll be needing to grab your pry bar to open up all the plastic clips. Once the plastic housing is removed, then you'll take your 10 millimeter socket. I used it in a 12 volt drill. Then you'll need flathead screwdrivers for any prying that needs to be done to get the grill off. You'll need a flashlight of your preference to be able to see down beneath. And then you'll need a quarter inch drill bit, a really small step bit, and then a very large step bit and then something to cut your zip ties with. Let's go. Now, in case you guys are wondering where I got this part from, I did purchase it from Amazon. I'll be sure to post the link in the description down below. It is the OEM new illuminated bow tie, part number 23385942. Inside the box, it comes with two Chevy bow ties. This one here is for the back of the vehicle. It has some adhesive on the back. There is a template that is included with the part. I will not be installing this until we get the vehicle painted in the back, however. We'll just set that off to the side for now. In regards to the highlight of the video, here's the new black Chevy Silverado symbol with a blue illumination. It comes with everything you need included in the kit. Corresponding wire harness is included. You'll simply unplug the headlight plug, plug this in, rob some power, and then plug it into the illuminated bow tie. Now the bow tie itself does not have a harness on it, and that's simply because you need to drill a hole through the grill, shove these wires through, and then attach the corresponding wire harness to the plugs, and then they even provide a locking clip so it won't come apart. To begin this project, first we'll have to find the hood latch release lever located underneath the steering column, and then simply walk over, open the hood up, start removing the plastic pins that hold on that plastic housing. Take your pry bar tool and pull up all the pins and then be sure to put them in a safe spot. Once you get the plastic cover off, then you'll need to take a 10 millimeter socket and take off the four bolts. Here, 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 and here. There's also two bolts located on the bottom of the grill. One down here and one down there. Once you get all six of them bolts out, then you need to pry up against the top of the grill and then slowly work your way out the bottom. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to be pressing against the four silver tabs on the grill. Don't be doing the ones with the black clips. That holds your front chrome bezel on. Just do the four chrome clips and then that badge will pop right out of the grill. I'm gonna stand it up so I can push the badge out of the grill. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is kind of eyeball where them wires go. There seems to be a little dimple here in the grill already. So what I'm gonna do is drill that hole out so that these wires can feed through, and then we'll clip this new badge in. First, I'll be using a quarter inch bit as a pilot hole. From there, I'm going to be using a unibit or a step bit. Once you guys are done drilling the hole bigger with your step bit, feed the wires down through and clip your bow tie into place. Make sure you verify that all four of them clips took and they're all locked out. Next we'll be moving into the engine bay and work on the wiring harness so that we can get the grill ready to get lit up. Begin by removing the clip here. 
pull that apart. You want to clip in the male portion of the clip to the OEM female portion of the clip that you just removed. Make sure that's locked. Then connect the new female connector back into the housing. And then what you have left is a lot of excess wiring and your clip going up to light up the bow tie up front. So you'll want to feed this down through, follow some existing wiring, and then shove it out the front of the grill. Okay, now what I actually want to do is come up on top of the headlight and follow the hood release cable lever. I've seen people run them down here, but I don't want to see that cable or zip ties or anything. Now one thing that's nice that I have yet to see people utilize is the factory sends the OEM clips with it. And what I'm gonna do is drill a little hole through this plastic housing here and utilize that hole to maintain the wire harness in place. Being the hood latch is right here, I don't wanna run the risk of getting it damaged, so I wanna run the wire harness right along here. I'm gonna drill a hole here and here and utilize the two clips that they have sent on the harness. I'll do the rest of the way is zip tie it to the cable that runs up to the lever for the hood latch release. Okay, now on to the last step. What we're going to be doing is hooking up the final connector to make sure this thing lights up. The OEM replacement harness comes with a black and a purple wire, and the badge itself has a black and a white wire. What you wanna do is connect black to black and white to purple. Take the replacement harness, hook in the connector that goes towards the black badge, stick a screwdriver in the clip that holds the weatherproof portion of the pin in, remove that guy, and then you'll want to remove the weathered in grommet out of that pin. Line the plug that you just took out up with the existing harness. Run your black wire through, corresponding to the other black wire. And then run the corresponding white wire in line with the purple wire. Shove that through, run the connector down, and then run your grommet over top. And then you can begin to insert the pins into the corresponding connector. Inside there are two white clips in there. You need to pry them over as you shove the pin in. And then repeat with the white wire. Once you get that portion complete, go ahead and run your waterproof sealer back in there. And then button up the clip. Once you have everything together, simply take the lock provided and slide it into place, holding all that stuff together. Now's the time where if you guys have any split loom tubing to put that on there, I don't know why the factory does not send any of that with. I don't happen to have any with me at the moment, but once I get this all together, I'll run down to the shop, I'll throw some of that tubing on, and you won't be able to see the wires and they'll be protected. So we'll go ahead, button this up, and push the grill back into place and see how everything looks. Now, like I said, I'll put some split loom tubing on this and then I'll zip tie everything up nice and neat. I personally believe this is the better route to go as it is a much more unconstricted path whereas the other guys want you to run it down and around here and then up and in. Beans, I'm pretty psycho. I don't want to see any wires up and down on the inside of that grill. All right guys, now that the grill's back in place, we're gonna put the four top screws in, the two bottom screws. We'll grab the plastic trim piece, put that on top, and then put all the plastic plugs in. And then you should be good to go. And 
just a quick reminder guys, this is what it looked like before I installed this OEM replacement kit. And here's what it looks like at night lit up with all the headlights. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for the installation of our new Chevy Bowtie. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any further questions that I did not discuss on what I used and how I did things, be sure to write them in the comment section down below. If you like this tutorial on how to change the emblem, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification for any future truck related content. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.